Colin, some of our texters have let us know that you picked the Seahawks to finish fourth in the NFC yeah. West. Why? Um, new staff. I think Geno's, uh, you know, a capable replacement. I think Stafford's the best quarterback. I think the best roster is San Francisco. I think uh, Kyler's a really special player when he has time. I liked what I saw out of them last year. I thought they had a very, very strong draft. It wasn't outside of the receiver, Harrison. It wasn't a lot of what you would think of as high-profile players, but a, a lot of really key players for them to fill in some holes. Um, you know, I, I don't know what to make of Seattle. I have more questions than answers. Uh, could they have a young Sean McVay as a defensive head coach? Don't love defensive coaches, but you can win with them, too. D'Amico Ryan's with Houston. C.J. Stroud, that works. Um, there's a lot of unknowns. I also think it's sort of a, a transition year at quarterback. They're just, you know, you watch, Brock, guys, the sport's getting more quarterback-centric and more offensive coach-centric. The last several years, the final four coaches are all offense. The league, the rules, everything is geared toward that. So I think I think they'll be capable. I think they could win nine to ten games potentially, but I think the NFC is much stronger today than two years ago. I'm surprised uh, that you like Arizona even as much as you do. They feel like they go against a lot of your tenets, a, a quarterback that I think is all over the place in terms of both personality, commitment, leadership, and accuracy. And, a, and an organization with an ownership group that's like constantly creating more problems than it solves. I would think you would be very down on Arizona just based on what I know of you. Well, yeah, but I have them for third. So I don't have yeah, them fair. as a playoff team. It, 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 <laughs> it, you know, they'll win eight, nine. Seattle will win eight, nine. So it's, I don't feel great. Bidwell's the worst ownership group in the league, I believe. Um, but I do, you know, if it's a coin flip with Seattle – um, in Arizona, I'll just go with Kyler because I, I, I've I've watched Kyler go up against McVay. I've watched Kyler go up against San Francisco and give them problems. <laughs> now, again, a lot of this is I I kind of know what I have with the defensive coach for Arizona. I thought they played really well last year with clear limitations to their roster. I don't know what Seattle has. I do think at the end of Pete Carroll's run. And I think they made the right call to move off him. Even his defense was bad. Pete always struggled getting the right offensive line coach, and defensive coaches do. Andy Reid and McVay have shown the ability, and even Kyle Shanahan, within a year to solve an offensive line. I feel like Mike Tomlin and Sean McDermott have been doing it for seven years. They still don't have it right. Pete always, to me, struggled. A couple years ago, I thought they had the right tackles. Now I'm not sure they have the right mix. So I, this coach could change things. He's younger. I think he sees the world from a, a D'Amico Ryan's perspective. I thought it was time to move off Pete. But I just don't know a lot about Seattle. Now, by mid-October, I could feel differently. You all know the voice. He is Colin Coward on a busy Monday for him. And I know you'll be talking some NBA. We'll get to Harbaugh in a second. But as you talked about the NFL, and, it, and you're right, it is a quarterback leg. And I find it fascinating, Colin, and I, and I wonder and I'm curious – if Gino can ever rewrite the narrative. He was seventh in QBR two years ago, comeback player of the year, shattered every Seahawk franchise passing record. Last year, he had more late game heroics and comeback wins and fourth quarter drives than anybody in football and was still, even on a down year, 14th in QBR. Is there anything Gino Smith can do to change the narrative about who he is as a quarterback in this league? No, not really, because I think he was a bust initially, and now he is a redemption story and a good one. Um, but you know, John Elway was never a bust. Mahomes was never a bust. I, I always, use, I always equate it to the show American Idol. I don't know anything about music. You could tell within 15 seconds. Star, dud, lounge singer. Talent, I mean, we knew instantly. Herbert's first start. Kyler's second start. Even quarterbacks I didn't love. Cam Newton, first start on the road. I think it was playing Arizona. Makes a throw, and I'm like, oh, yeah, that's going to work. It doesn't take very long. Matt Ryan, good, not great. Made a throw against, I think, the Bears' left sideline first game at home. Uh, if I recall, and I thought, oh, yeah, this this is going to make it. He sees the field. Uh, he's accurate down the field. When I watch Geno, I see um, a great story, not a great quarterback, certainly capable of winning games. But remember, you know, last year, a prime example, Rams were supposedly in a rebuild. Arizona had a new coach and was awful. Like, 
the NFC is different. Green Bay was too young. Now they're not. Detroit was good. Now they could be great. I think the NFC is just going to be better. Uh, maybe not AFC dominant because of the lack of great quarterbacks. But I think if the time to get, the getting was good in the NFC was the previous two years. They're very – outside of the New York Giants, Charlotte, uh, you know, maybe. I don't see a lot of dogs in the NFC. The previous two years, there were four or five teams at the bottom. Um, even a team like Minnesota, who's over-under, is like five and a half games. Go look at the Vikings' offensive personnel. Two receivers, tight end, left tackle, back, coach. Like, that's a bad team. That team could drop 30 on anybody if Sam Darnold's healthy. So I just think I think the last two years was the time, if you had kind of a good quarterback, um, I think that time has passed. I think some of these new quarterbacks, Jaden Daniels, Caleb will hit, Lions, Packers, ready to go to a new level. I thought the Rams had another great draft. I think they're going to be in a Super Bowl bubble. So I just think Seattle feels like just – blew an opportunity the last two years if that's the case do you look to give sam howell some reps and just find out whether or not he's anything or have we already kind of made up our mind on him too i've i've watched him i think again i think he's a capable occasional spot starter um i think he and gino are both you know they're they're both nfl quarterbacks there's a big difference between a starting quarterback and a franchise guy you know it's like tom brady says there's a difference between a star and you know a winner Pro sports has all sorts of stars in the NBA. The marketing, the shoes. It doesn't mean you're a winner. Gino is a franchise quarterback. I think he is. He's a big, strong kid. He works hard. You know, the redemption story shows maturity and self-awareness. But, man, you start getting to the top of the class here. Stafford, Burrow, Mahomes, Lamar. They just look different. They just play differently. You can build an entire franchise, an ecosystem around them. With Geno, I think he can start. He can win games. But it's like the NBA. The playoffs are different. I mean, last year, Kansas City's defense won a championship. But it was still Mahomes making plays in the fourth quarter in big games. Plays that almost nobody else on the planet can make. Are the Chargers a buy? Do you think the Chargers they are? are... <laughs> yeah, on an eight-and-a-half win total, yes. They, they still have roster. I mean, God, you lose Keenan, uh, Austin Eckler, Mike Williams, Gerald Everett. <laughs> like that's, that's like losing your secondary.